So here's Lulworth Cove. Um, and again, this is one of my favourite spots on the coast, not just because it's lovely and pretty, um, and it's especially nice in the middle of winter on a sunny day because there's not very many people here and the height of summer, of course, is very crowded. But um, one of the reasons, the reason that I like it as a geologist, and I guess it's a little bit nerdy, is that it's an actual snapshot through almost the entire sequence of our Cretaceous geology that we have along the coast. Um, and if you've watched the stair hole video, you'll know all about the alpine mountain building um, and the way those pressures rippled north and tilted all our rocks up. Um, so if you want to know more about that, watch that video. So all of the rocks here at Lulworth are tilting slightly to the north, plunging down. The oldest ones are on the seaward side of Lulworth and the youngest ones are at the back of the cove. And if we have a look at them, what we find is we've got upper Jurassic Portland limestone right on the outside. Then we can come through and see the boundary between the Jurassic and the Cretaceous going straight in through to the Purbeck limestone group. There's those stripy um, layered rocks over there. Then we go straight from them through into the orange and golden and greeny blue sandstones and muds and grits of the Wealden uh, group. And you can see they're sort of in the middle of the cove. They're the things that have actually been eroded to make the cove. And then past them you go into the lower green sand and gold. Not very difficult to see here because they're mainly covered up with landslides and scrub, but they are there. Then into the upper green sand and then straight through into the chalk. And the chalk is the last rock to form in the Cretaceous period. Okay, it takes up the last 30 million years of the Cretaceous period, which is 80 million overall, but it represents the last bit of our story. Because for that entire 30 million years, chalk formed right up until the end of the Cretaceous period. So what we have here um, in a very small space is um, a story which explains the environmental changes that happened across the entire Cretaceous period here on the Jurassic Coast.